YouTube, another gauntlet gameplay. This one, though, going to be more offensive focused as I'm going to be running exclusively great interior uh, kind of O-line, D-line push there by Matt Trosby on the O-1 trap. But we're going to be playing this game primarily in the bunch wide offensive formation. It is in the Packers playbook, and it's my pretty much my secondary formation I run um, opposite of trips, which is actually it's one to the right um, in the adjustments or in the audible, sorry. And I spread my line. I can't spread my linebackers, I guess. Um, he's running again and again. We're there to make the play. But I wanted to make a play or a gameplay video just solely around bunch wide because I think it's a formation that could actually be run almost on its own. Now, I wouldn't really say, can I get a stick switch on there? I mean, I don't know what our opponent is doing. He's going to throw that, though. I knew he was going to throw it. Fourth down and 15, though. Our opponent's not really liking what I'm doing on defense right now. I'll be honest. And actually, let's go... Hmm, he's going a bunch. I'm gonna man up the tight end. If this is verticals, this should be this should be good defense. Um, and actually, let's go cover two. If that if it's if it's a uh, double post as well. If this is double post, I, I I feel pretty good about this. I just missed the tackle. Oh, I knew it was verticals the minute he motioned him out. I should have just dragged Remus over there so he would make the tackle. I didn't have to stick switch stick to him. Good play by our opponent though. He's struggling though. He's struggling on offense to start this game. But yeah, I wanted to make a video about bunch wide and kind of show the entire formation because of course when I audible to it, I only have four plays I can choose from. So it's there's, there's very limited options. And our opponent now looks like he wants to run the ball. That's gonna be a jet sweep. I'm guessing a spin move inside. Yeah, we were kind of there. It's a good red zone offense. I wouldn't really call it a good in between the twenties offense. This cover six out of four three over. This is my primary defense uh, when someone is running. And now let's act. Actually, let's stick with cover. Let's stick with cover six. It's my primary defense when someone is in a condensed formation, like tight, tight offset, tight sauce halfback weak. You know, a lot of that stuff. I would say corner route on the right. Mm. I kind of assume my flat would be open to the. I mean, my flat would be covered to the left because the flat wasn't covered to the right. That's where I don't like cover six that much. I just, again, I didn't know if that was going to be covered. I thought it was. Turned out it wasn't. I'm going to go with it one more time. And then if this doesn't work, I'm going to go into my zone drops run. I did crash left. We are really fast with our linebacker. That's that chance Campbell speed. Okay. Let me set up uh, my zone drops here. Let me go flats on 10. Curl flats on zero. Hooks on five. We come out now in. And let me actually put cover four my audibles real quick. Boom, and then let me come out with cover two. Cover two, shade down. I'm actually gonna shift. I'm gonna crash right here. Tackle. Don't push him in. Don't push him in. Thank you. Okay. I'm meaning to practice this defense. So I want to go boom. Blitz all linebackers. And then yeah, I like this a lot better. Never mind. I don't like that defense at all. I don't know. I need like another shoot for that. I don't know if I have to bring a safety. Dang, man, we had him on 4th and 10. We let him just, just slither away. But now, we get to see that bunch-wide offense. This is a little bit... No, this isn't normal for me. I normally do not come out in the bunch-wide. So, I'm kind of... I'm going to be able to have a few plays in my arsenal that I'm not normally going to be able to. This one, the first one, it's like a... It's a trail play, essentially. Where it has a... Can we get a... I should have spun. That's my fault. I should have spun. Let me go on conservative. Still, by the way, uh, glitch in the game. I, would, I guess you would say it was a glitch. Uh, you could spin on conservative. But yeah, why trails to play? Uh, my audible set right now, I have, I think it's, or let me, I'll go show you guys the minute we can break the huddle. But I have inside zone as the second one, verticals as the third, uh, dig return as the fourth. And my first one, I believe it's corner divide. It's my favorite play in bunch wide. It was really, really good. He's going to pause the game, I guess, to make more substitutions. I'll talk while he does that. Um, corner divide was like my favorite play with the stem glitch. Still really, really good with the stem glitch, I'll be honest. Um, not as good anymore, but it's still a really, really good play. It's kind of a, a three-level play where you have a crosser from right to left, a drag from right to left, and a backside zig from right to left. Uh, yeah, corner divide. And what I do for the setup here is I will post the RB route, drag the tight end, and I will put the running back also on a flat. So you kind of have two checkdowns right away in the sense of it's the tight end and the running back. And then after that, it's kind of a read between RB and B on the backside. He's now going to be in dollar. He's sending DB fire, which means the flat's going to be open. Can we get a spin off? We don't. Now we do. Let's get up out of there. Let's get up out of there with CJ2K. One spin away. Probably shouldn't have spun the second time. But also, there's a few plays like Branch Return, very similar to Corner Divide, where we have the backside zig from the right, but we have a corner route. Now, this was a really good corner route with the stem glitch, but I'm not going to do that until our opponent I stem glitches us first. Right? Going to play the respected gentleman's agreement, you would say. But I also like to streak. On this play setup, I would streak the tight end, 
stemmed down the corner route one time and honestly i'd probably flat the running back again and again. my first read is the tight end and then after that i'm kind of going based on where i see pressure pressure on the right so i'll look right and we have the right guy right try to find that void where the pressure comes from and that was the right linebacker that time let's see what other plays we got in here this steam divide the steam divide is a little bit like it's good but it's better more than a normal bunch verticals this play right here is not bad cheat flood um it can be used sort of as a cover two beater where you have uh and you you streak the i'll show you what i mean but like you have a motioned out streak to the wide side sorry at my desk if our opponent ever chooses to play so what i like to do on this is i would streak rb that then the duke would also be on a on a streak to the right and i would also probably drag my outside guy so like this is what it looks like it's a cover two bond to the left side if they play cover two he is not but i have like I said, there's other really good routes on this play, like the Texas route from the running back, and then you can really play whatever you want with on the solo side receiver, as well as the other receiver on that pull. We also have this cheat slot. There, there's a lot of really good plays in, in bunch wide. It's why it's become my secondary formation. Like, yes, I'm running a trips um, tight end style of offense, but this is my secondary formation. So on this play, I would probably go... I'd probably go flat by you, streak you flat there i don't know like this is a oh i know i forgot it's an outside receiver i screwed that up let's just step up and run with Jalen daniels make sure i don't take a hit i forget the outside receiver in bunch wide is it can isn't uh it's not a a slot receiver it has he has outside receiver hot routes so i put him on instead of it being a flat route i put it on my on a comeback route which could actually be glitchy but i don't really want that in that situation in this situation though i know what i want it's dig return stem down one time let's smoke screen the solo side receiver and we're really just looking flat first flat is open we're gonna take the flat can we get a spin no we get a broken tackle though from vernon davis and we're down to the three funny enough the original reason why i ever even looked into bunch wide the formation was because of inside zone at a bunch wide it's actually a really really good run play and it's gonna be funny when this doesn't actually get any yards but it's actually a really really good run play as you kind of see the spacing when we're not in the red zone right it's a lot better um and uh i guess we'll call it dig return again but it's a really really good play inside the 20 in, in between the 20s and actually if he's not gonna go with his user i'm running this right up the middle yeah right up the middle never mind uh wow that was the two i thought we were to I thought we were clearly to the one. I guess I'm just going to call hike. I have the flat high ball. Beautiful Vernon Davis. But yeah, what I was trying to say is inside zone in between the 20s when the, you know, the safeties aren't at the line of scrimmage, not everyone's pressed. It's actually a very, very good run against double A gap because it's not that like inside zone split from roll bunch. It, it's a, it kind of like creates a wall necessarily. And also a lot of people run mana line to where their corner, since it's bunch wide, they're corner so the slot corner will not be able to make a play on the running back it's pretty much all on the linebacker to shoot the gap hopefully though i give you guys a better example of that um later on in the game uh, because i do want to showcase that inside zone is a really really good run and our crash down four man front is doing a great job of stopping the run against this guy putting him in a lot of me in advantageous positions being second and long third and long fourth and long so i honestly believe if we get this guy to another third and long um he's gonna crack and uh what is this play right here Ooh, i i actually love that route combo i mean god i mean can we get any pressure i mean god damn that took 15 that was about the best coverage stack you could have gotten jeez man usually this defense is really good at getting pressure after like two two or three seconds it's got to be a corner out somewhere uh he's gonna block let me make a tackle 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 but mm, i'm like stuck i don't know Mm, good play. Wait, did he get... Oh, I thought he got an accurate. God damn, I couldn't stick switch that play. That whole play, I was frozen. I know I should run a different defense, but he hasn't shown me anything where, like, he is picking apart this cover before. And now that he's going to this... Okay, this gives me a little bit more trouble. Yeah, the RPO, I was gonna say. RPO would kill me in that spot. Don't tackle, tackle. Okay, we're in a good spot, though, because we get ball. He's not able to clock us. We do have to watch out for that next time, though. Let's put our hooks, though, on 10... Our flats on 15 and our curl flats on zero. I feel really good about this defense, actually. I don't know what's open here. Genuinely, I don't know what could be open. Yeah. Jalen Daniels, though, is going to make a play. He's going to throw that way. That's good, though. Saves us some time. I'm going to pass him in as well. Let's get in the gap so we get some pressure. Motion out worries me a little bit, but I mean, I'm going to shade outside. I have a 15-yard hook curl. Like, it should play a streak pretty easily. Just make the tackle and we're good. That's fine. If he wants to go for this, 
I'm all for it. Because if he doesn't get this, this game is over. I wonder if he just bluffs me and, and stretch. Go stretch. No, he, he's calling it. Yeah. Wow, he fuck. He, he screwed up. I, I'm trying not to. Not trying to cuss on this channel. He screwed. I, I knew what he was calling. He he screwed up the spin move. Okay. The problem is now though we're on the three, and this isn't the greatest pass protection uh, offense in the game formation. Like honestly, I would go to I would go to trips if I was in this situation for money in a big game, because he could just send everybody, and there's really nothing I can do about. It. I had to throw something hot. So I'm going to run the ball to try to show you guys. Like I said, I told you guys inside the 20s, this is a really good run against the double A gap because his, the, you saw like the slot corner in that situation can't really play that like at all. That's why this is a really, really good run against double A gap. But honestly, I should run again, but I kind of want to, I want to see if he calls cover too. I'm going to try to hit this bomb on the wide side on Vernon Davis. It looks like more man coverage. Um, I don't really have anything open. He, he kind of just played cover four and... I think I had the running back open initially. There was a window to where I could throw it, but it wasn't there. All right, let's go to my let's go to my bread and butter though. My favorite play in this formation. Uh, post route that drag, and actually we'll do a little bit different variation. Motion out, and we'll go out route here from Heinz Ward or speed out that is. And you're pretty much just hard looking to see if the corner is is playing that manned up. If he is not, and he like kind of drifts back to a third. You kind of have to hot throw that, like that. Perfect. Mm, third and ten, not ideal. I'm going with the same play. And I'm going to motion out. And this time, I'm just going to smoke screen it. Let's shift our line to the left. Half slide left. Honestly, the read here might be Vernon Davis off rip. If he sends a lot of pressure. Yeah. Can we get a spin? Beautiful Vernon Davis. That's why we pay. That's why you're worth 1.6 million coins, man. The run after catch for the tight end is so important in this game. All right, we're going to go verticals. We're kind of pressed for time a little bit. Clock's winding. We have two timeouts. He looks like he's sending some pressure. He is. We'll dump it off the CJ2 can again. We're in spin move territory. There goes one. And we're out. Zoom, zoom. That's 88 speed. You're not going to catch that, man. I really should go down. I really should go down. We're going to waste as much time as we can. I know this isn't for money, but it's still, right? We're still fighting for our life out here in the gauntlet. If we win this all the way, it's like 1.5 million coins. Let me know if I make it all the way if you guys want to see like an exclusive 10 win gameplay or like win and get in type thing for gauntlet. But that was a great drive. Pretty much called our shot on every single play. Now we just got to play 39 seconds of defense. And I feel great because I think he's going to try to throw some corner routes to get up down the field pretty fast. He's probably pressing to score. I think we get an interception here. 33 seconds left for our opponent though. Going to put hard flats again. Just cover four and we're stick switching everything on this field. The beautiful part about it, like a, a condensed formation like this, I can stick switch my outside thirds like that. And I'm still fine. You know why? Because I have inside quarters to also play the street. Because normally, right, if you're in cover three and they go corner route street combo, if you stick switch to the outside third, cover the corner route, the streak is wide open. But in cover four against the condensed set, unless they have a ridiculous deep corner or fade route, you can stick switch the outside players with ease. Does he go to the RPO here? I don't believe so. It's probably just, I'm going to contain, probably PA boot over. Eh. Nothing here. I'm going to call a timeout myself here. I'm going to see if he calls one. He did. Okay, perfect. I was going to see if I was going to call one because he's not comfortable at all. Like, he does not like this defense. You got it, buddy. Good play. Can we get a hit? Good play. I, sh I knew I should have seemed. I should have seemed uh, the, the hard flat on the, on the trip side. That was my fault. I'm going to run match on this. Probably gives me a better chance to run and cover four hard flats. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful adjustment there. Give him something he has not seen the entire game when he goes to trips. Now brings up third and ten. And again, tricky spot. I would like to send pressure here. And let's do... Ah. Take away the flat. Tackle. Fred, Fred, Fred. I just need to tackle there, dude. It would have been fourth down with six seconds left. And he would have had to make a really ballsy decision. He might call the RPO here. That's a good play call. Tackle. Great play call. Uh, I should have just played for it. I called it out. It was the only thing he could really go to there when he went to trips, in my opinion. Ty would have been a better formation to just snap a play. He has Tucker, too. Yeah, he probably could have made it the play before. He really didn't need that. All right, 14 10. We get ball, though. Let's put another drive together in that bunch wide. Drive up, though, with a little bit of a branch return, right? Streak the tight end. Corner route, stem down one. I'm going to mo. Ah, let's not motion out. He looks like he's setting pressure, though. I'll be honest. He looks like he's setting pressure. He's not have our, mm, 
That was a really late read. I had it. It's just not a read that I'm comfortable with. Because if they stick switch you at the right time, it's a pick every time. Pretty standard play. Looking wheel route on the right initially. Not going to be there. Crosser should be open. Beautiful catch there by Tristan Jackson. Unfortunately, this is kind of eh, this is kind of like more my account thing. Uh, this is like the last game for a lot of these players on my team. I am selling my team after this game. I know I'm not like done with Gauntlet, but I want to get rid of a lot of these players on this team. And can we actually post this? This might be a really good route combo. It's a lot long developing. I guess my hot read is my running back here. I think I have that. I don't know if I have that. That's 88 speed. Maybe that's Tristan Jackson, the team of the week. I had never thrown that pass before. The Cam Chancellor was honestly in position. And I don't know if speed played a big deal there. But he played that really underneath. I wonder if that was an inside quarter. But like, if it was an inside quarter, I would expect that to play it. All right, I think what I'm going to do, if he goes to Trips tight end, I'm going to audible to cover six and just play a stock match. But yeah, all right, this is what we're going to do. I've been told that cover six is a really good defense. Never mind. Maybe I have to. Maybe I have to flip that. I don't. I don't know why we're we're kind of we're just lying. To, okay, we're lying to ourselves. So we're gonna we're gonna convert this. I don't think you have one good completion in tied offset. All your completions have been in trips. I probably shouldn't run hard flats on this play. Good play. I stick switch. Honestly, there was two routes I got to switch it to. I switched it to the one on the right. I'm running quarters, which I really like against this. And yeah, this is a bag. Although. Oh, that's 100% my responsibility. It's 1,000% my responsibility that within the 3 rec. Dang, I didn't even have to cover it. Everything else was covered. Good play. Alright, he's working the tight offset a little bit more. I gotta I gotta spread my linebackers that way. The, the flat isn't open off a rip. Out of bounds. There we go. That's that's payback for my uh, my my speed out not being open or not getting a catch. I'm going to press too. I have no clue if this is going to be good defense or not. I hope it is. Wow. I mean, it... it, it I, I don't know. Was it good defense? Was it not? Or, uh, you kind of got cheated back-to-back -back plays. But then again, like that play, we pretty much covered like the first four seconds. There was nothing open until the very, very end. And I feel like my hook curl could have played a better job of that in route. But, man, I guess all these gauntlet games are just half games. But, like, they're, the half games of gauntlet are longer than the full games are in regular head-to-head. -head. So, you guys pretty much get a full gameplay. This video is going to be 20 minutes long. But that's the bunch wide. Uh, and, again, I, I'm kind of showing you guys the entire Packers playbook arsenal where I'm running trips, a bunch wide. Maybe one of these games I throw a little bit just bunch strong, bunch strong nasty in there. And uh, hopefully you guys can add these formations if they're in your playbook or not, uh, you know, to your offense. But I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.